Hello Procrastinators and welcome to day 23 of the Nerd Cube Awards for 2022. Today, a solemn affair. We will be presenting the Bobby Kotick Award. This award is thrust into the face of the very worst game of the year. A game that is either shit, evil, or both. No good games want this award and none have ever received it. If there is a video game afterlife, then this is where all the bastards would go. And with that, the winner is... Actually, let's do some shout outs first for a few games that didn't quite make the cut this year. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet released in an almost cyberpunk state of disrepair, causing fan outrage at a set of games that, while great at their core, it's just unfinished. It's like that bit on Bake Off where someone brings a tin of liquid batter out of the oven and goes, Oh, it's a bit underdone. Of course it is, Melissa! You've got the oven set to 12 degrees! A dog wouldn't know whether he's supposed to eat that bread or swim in it! I'm hopeful that after a few patches, it'll be sorted out. Who the fuck knows? I mean, definitely not me because I'm writing this less than a week after the fucking thing released. Uh, also this year, Sonic Team shout out Sonic Frontiers, with fans pointing at the bits still clinging to the hair on their legs and going, look, it's good now. Despite the overwhelmingly positive Steam reviews, this game is just a fucking trash heap. From, from popping not seeing this side of a warehouse full of jack-in-the-boxes to dreary visuals, big the cat, crap but mercifully short linear stages, big the cat, a few islands with the same grind rails scattered about them for no reason. Big the cat. Sonic Frontiers is yet another shit 3D Sonic game on a pile of, well, almost all of them. Maybe the core idea of an open world Sonic game has legs. But this one, well, let's just say it doesn't have to spend much money on shoes. What else came out this year? Platinum's latest, Babylon's Fall, came out to... Critical Disdain has an active player count in the single digits and is being shut down in February, which is like a piece of garbage that throws itself out. And what else was there? Gotham Knights existed, probably. I didn't play it. You didn't play it. Let's move on. Um, fuck it. Let's do the big one. Let's go for the award. Everybody, prepare your booze because the award for the worst game of 2022 goes to... Diablo Immortal. According to Eurogamer, it cost £88,000, $110,000, to fully upgrade a character in Diablo Immortal. Yeah, that'll do it. See you tomorrow.